Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Curls Next Door here. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. So you guys, in today's video, I'm going to quickly share my thoughts and give my honest opinion on that new fall release from Bath & Body Works, which is the Moonlit Martini. One of my lovely subscribers did ask me in the comment section down below to go ahead and do a review on this because they had mixed feelings on it. And um, this is going to be 100% my own personal opinion. So hopefully you like the same things I like. And, you know, let's just get into the review. See it, I like it, I want it, I got it, yeah, I want it. So the Moonlit Martini is described as an aromatic, fruity fragrance. The fragrance notes are vibrant fruit, sparkling gin, and midnight musk. I've had this one in my collection for maybe a little bit under two weeks, but um, it's a genuine love for me. I'm just going to start off by spraying this on my skin. That way I can sort of remember what I loved about this fragrance. So this one starts off very soft. There's a soft, bubbly fizziness about this fragrance mist. And to my nose, I like that. It's nothing really loud or pungent about the opening of this fragrance. It's definitely, um, it is definitely a soft fragrance from the get-go. And I like this one. I feel like if there were gin in here, like it says, I don't know what gin smells like. I'm not an alcohol connoisseur. I'm not a um, person that's versed with different types of alcohol, but I feel like if there were gin in this fragrance, the gin was done to perfection. It smells so good to my nose. So far, everything is just beautiful on the first spray. Moonlit Martini is a very refreshing fragrance to my nose. I feel like it's refreshing because it's carbonated. Um, it's not a clean, linen fresh, refreshing type of scent, but it's more of a bubbly, effervescent type of scent. And it definitely gives that off as soon as you spray it. Yeah, it's definitely a very bubbly, very carbonated type of fragrance, if you ask me. And I, I like that. I like that it's um, very smooth and soft. On my skin, it definitely leaves that light, delicate type of scent. Mmm. I really like this one. I also get a hint of fruit that's coming out from this fragrance, but I feel like the fruit in here is more synthetic and sweet than a more natural fruity scent, if you get what I'm coming from. Um, it's not a bad thing. I feel like it combines perfectly well with the muskiness in this fragrance, and it just makes this a very wearable, um, yet detectable soft type of fragrance to my nose. I don't know if I'm making sense, but it's definitely um, giving fall vibes. Definitely. I feel like it's very cozy at this point. Um, it's very warm and it's very inviting to my nose. And I really do like the aura that this fragrance mist gives off. I feel like the musk in here is very subtle. I feel like it's very soft and it's delicate. And even though it's not loud or pungent, it is very still much detectable in this fragrance. So overall, I feel like this fragrance is dope. I get a slight sweetness from this fragrance. I feel like this fragrance is refreshing from the very initial spray all the way to the dry down. This is also to my nose and this is how I perceive it. Um, it's also a feel good fragrance. 
it definitely has that warm, cozy vibe to it that it just, it speaks to me every single time I spray it. I think this is 100% um, a fall fragrance, if you ask me. Even though it doesn't project and throw itself all over the place, I really like this. It is definitely a skin-scented fragrance mist. Um, even the lotion, it's not really loud or anything like that. It's just soft, warm, comfy, and cozy. And that's the vibe that I need for the fall. Fall time is so different from the summer and it's just different all the way around. It is more of a chill time for me. And I just want my fragrances to be chill as well. So this is nine out of 10 recommended. I love, love, love this one for the fall definitely recommend it if you haven't already tried this one go into your bath and body Works store get your nose on it see if that's your vibe because it's definitely my vibe so you guys that is it for my review of the moonlit martini fine fragrance mist i love the entire line um, i wanted to share with you one thing that i did go ahead and pair it up with i did go ahead and pair it up with juliet has a gun um and i did wear this one out to work it still gave me at least five to six hours on my skin when i paired these two together um and i like these two paired together because they're more skin scents they're more musky they're more um warm and cozy and that's the vibe i like so this has been in constant rotation for me pair it up together they smell absolutely amazing on my skin and it lasts and it just you know it just definitely puts me in the mood for a beautiful cool weather fall day so i'm going to put this aside i won't be wearing this anymore until it actually cools up here in florida it's still 90 plus degrees um with no end in sight but this was amazing when I did wear it together, but I know it's definitely for much cooler temperatures and I'll be going in on that one. So you guys, thank you so much. I love you. I hope this review was helpful. Like I said, if you haven't already had or gotten your nose on the Moonlit Martini, go out to your store and see if you would like it. Um, I know I do. I love you and may God bless you.